news, my lovely, wonderful people. You'll be surprised what MC Olumo son said to Nigerians who are calling out and saying, you know, uh, the American government should revoke his children's um, visa or whatever they've given to them to enable them to stay in the country and to be able to school. The young man says, am I responsible for your parents' misfortune? That is MC Olumo's son, you know, mocking uh, his father's critics. Um, young man, I don't think that is a way to speak to people. However, uh, I don't think people should also call that, you know, his children's visa be revoked. We know that our government in Nigeria today have taken opportunity of, you know, weaponizing poverty to use the people. Okay, M. Solomon's children are schooling in some of the best places in the world in America, getting the today's you know uh, technology education to bring themselves into that very glorious place. Why Nigerian students last year we saw them over eight months at home you know so when this election was approaching that took place yesterday we saw that nigerian went, nigerians went out asking that mc lumos children's visa be revoked the son called come aside they say what did they do there they, they're mad me he said what did they do when i enter the papa media panel game money i don't think that's the way to speak to people however you know we, i just believe that we should you know tread cautiously so that at the end of the day, you know, we can all, we can all, you know, get the best. Let's get all the details. Not be smart, you know, MC Oluma's son says, am I responsible for your parents' misfortune? The son mocks the father's critics and those who are calling that they should be, their visa should be revoked. One of the sons of the National Union of Road Transport Workers, NURTW boss, Musiu Akinsoye, a.k.a. MC Olumo, has mocked Nigerians on social media after the call out for endorsement of the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu. As if that is not enough, Nigerians have called that they all should immediately be also that they all immediately the, the, UK, the U.S. government should revoke his children's visa. The son identified as King West on Instagram in a known now deleted story which was which was spotted on his page on his page stirred that the curse from nigerians cannot reduce the vote in Ubu we get in in the election and the results of him being announced as nigerians uh, president he wrote make on a course from today to tomorrow not be on a go remove we not go remove five naira from my account or reduce the vote. Wait, Tinubu go get a big president. Now me cause on a papa misfortune. Make he go get money. Who get money? They won't cause him. He, he further urge Nigerians not to lose friends or lose faith over the political ideologists and those who want to take over. Saying his father will have a position in this country and will become a great man under Tinubu. So this is uh, MC Olumo's son why we don't subscribe to you know uh what the father has done the children we pay for it we also uh do not subscribe to him talking to people in such a way and such a manner uh, this one we talks on just a high tension you know on going on with regards to the election okay so it's 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 really not right that we should allow such things you know we should just you know maintain uh, maintain the status quo and wait patiently for the results you know mc olumo is chinubu's godson and um, the, it was the court that barred him from taking election materials uh, because of his association with Tinubu because they don't want anything called, you know, conflict of interest. And at the end of the day, we saw that, you know, things began to change, you know, for for Tinubu because a lot of people began to uh, associate with other presidential candidates. Today, as we speak, Nigerians are waiting earnestly for the results of the elections that will be called, uh, that will declare who has become Nigerians' president. In whatever parts of the of the bargain you see, it, the most important thing is that we all rise up for what is true, and we do not we do not just sit back there and do nothing. If Nigeria is going to become better, the country is going to be good. You and I have a big part 
to contribute and to uh, you know to participate in and to play in so that at the end of the day we can truly have a nation that you know it's a nation that is ours and we do everything humanly speaking possible okay so it is a uh, honest position that nigerians must arise you know and ensure that we do what is needed what is right and what is right all the time you know people will try to manipulate and take over that which belongs to us but we must be we must be steadfast we must be we must be steady and we must know what we want because a man who does not know what he wants can be bamboozled you know by every or anybody who comes around so every single one of us must be honest, must be sincere, and must be determined to ensure that the truth is being manifested every single time. Yes? So it is what it is. If there's anything called good, if there's anything called honest, if there's anything called sincerity, these are the days to begin to, you know, apply those principles that have brought us thus far so that as a nation we can move forward if we can continue to dabble between opinions and we are neither here nor there we can't go very far so nigerians mc olumosh pikido calls everybody it's not being said they are not game on you know the beefy papa whatever it is who commits sin i go face the sin obviously they're talking uh -huh. and that person if you do and that to make another person they bear the consequences if you do any year you break the law mc lumos son you go face the consequences so not break law and uh, where they talk so not break law make sure so you do things normally decently and in order and again if mc lumos don't do something make it be the one to bear the brunt not being children you know in children you know it's, i mean it is what it is they are just you know they are just his children and you don't choose your parents do you whatever happened you did not choose your parents so it is a matter of urgent attention honest you know honest uh, position where we all must in, must honestly you know be, be determined and be truthful in order for us to get the the, the truth you know be displayed at us remember you have a voice yes don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe remember every single time we have opportunity for a change we must do it honestly sincerely and truly and ensure that at the end of the day nigeria becomes good for each and every one of us god bless have a fantastic and a lovely day and from us remember that you and i have got a part to play in bringing nigeria to a better place and in changing the course of this nation again and again bye bye from us and bye bye for now it is where this nation it must better yes